Many modern fantasy games prop characters up as heroes, where you go into battle with full resources, failure isn't really something that you're worried about, and falling in combat doesn't have any long-term repercussions. This still isn't one of those games. We focus on hardships, not heroes, and we do it in a way that enriches your character's story instead of detracting from it. Hey there folks, Rel here. I'm the sole author on Distal, a new D20 fantasy role-playing game for players that want more meaningful stakes at the table. We'll talk a bit about what makes Distal special among a sea of heroic fantasy games so you can make an informed decision about whether or not it's right for your table. Distal is currently crowdfunding in digital and hardcover over on Backerkit, and there are some limited time goodies in there too if you're quick enough. The funding primarily goes toward getting art done by real human beings since that's the most expensive, most time-consuming part of the process. The more funding that we receive, the more art goes into the book. In Distal, each character is considered a competent adventurer with a fully fleshed out backstory, and we even help you create it. Backstories are a fundamental part of your character, both mechanically and in the narrative. So we make building those backstories as fun and relevant as every other part of the character creation process. The way we do this is by giving you two sentences that are completed with four prompts, either rolled on a table or chosen by you. The result is a backstory with the right amount of specificity to get your imagination going, while providing functional benefits like proficiencies and equipment, and giving you, and the GM, narrative hooks to grab onto. Distal is a grounded but not gritty high fantasy setting. We don't want to hack your limbs off or risk an untimely character death every time you turn down a dark alleyway. We do, however, want you to feel the weight and the consequences of your actions. The entire game is built around this premise, but I'll touch on a few of the core aspects and mechanics that help solidify it. The first is that damage prevention is far more important than healing it back. The armor you wear can buffer incoming damage with a counter roll, and there are ways to position yourself in combat so that the likelihood of getting hit is far reduced. The second is that there are no revive spells in this world. So if you drop to zero health, your soul actually begins to tear itself apart from the body, and that causes the body to rapidly deteriorate as a response. We represent this tenuous balance between life and death with a mechanic called death marks. When you spend time dying, you will accrue death marks until you're stabilized. Death marks are permanent, and while you can accrue a fair amount of them, you can only gain so many before the sweet forever sleep takes hold. Death marks have mechanical repercussions that build on a character's personal story. They also make you a little bit more resilient to falling in combat in the future, kind of like how scar tissue deadens the feeling around it. The last one is that progression in distal is gained by undergoing trials. A trial is any sort of extreme hardship that your character faces. If you have a serious brush with death or if you're caught in a no-win diplomatic situation, or when you overcome a daunting challenge, your character gains a bit of progression toward their next character level. Hopefully these elements help frame the world a little bit without sounding too dark. It's a high fantasy setting, so you still have a bunch of classes, a bunch of lineage options, magical spells, abilities, and it's all supported by familiar d20 mechanics that are streamlined to address many of the common pain points that you've probably encountered in your games at home. For example, we still use to hit rolls because we don't believe that missing an attack is a flaw of the game, but we do believe that you aren't given enough agency over how to deal with it. So many classes have the ability to re-roll attacks at a resource cost, and everyone has a resource called willpower that allows you to add to your to hit roll. You just need to figure out how badly you want it. Another example is that building encounters is often time consuming or difficult to do. If you're looking at some of the other D20 experiences, you'll end up needing like three different monsters to make an encounter interesting enough that your players aren't just gonna stand there and hit it the entire time. In Distal, we handle monsters a little bit differently. We use behaviors instead of actions. Each monster has a short list of behaviors that you can point to and say, it's gonna do this. And then you do the thing and then that's it. The behavior gives each creature flavor and makes them feel like they have a purpose for being instead of just being another stat block. That makes it more fun for your players to fight against, allows you to use multiples of the same monster to do more cool things, and allows your players to learn how a monster behaves as time passes. There are a lot of little features like this in the game because we're able to build it from the ground up and we aren't beholden to any stockholders or pre-existing design. So we can focus on the best experience that we can deliver test it, improve upon it, to make something truly special. Speaking of which, Distal has already been in alpha testing and has been since last year. 
You can get an early alpha version of the game totally free right now just by following the project on Backerkit. Download the 140 plus page core rules, the quick start guide, and a beginner's adventure. Maybe even jump into our development discord to help make the game a little bit better. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and let me know what you think about Distal in the comments down below. I'm always willing to answer questions, and I love talking about the game. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.